Hey there. Well, apparently my last video gave some people the impression that I'm okay with Israel's genocide against the Palestinians. Those people couldn't be any further from the truth. There is no excuse for Israel's genocide of the Palestinian people. My side rant in my last video that was a, started around 44 seconds in was talking about those who are considered oppressed in general, mostly by those who look at everything through a lens of power, privilege, etc. You know, the whole new neo-scholarly approach, right? So in that part of the video, I was not talking about Palestinians. It was actually more about cultures that you often see here in the United States, and how there are some problems in some cultures that should really be addressed. But we never will because we're not supposed to give any bad stereotypes any sort of validity at all. Under a very strange and strict principle. And that principle is to only tackle cultural problems of oppressors, never the oppressed, even if the things that are being tackled are as minuscule as microaggressions, even if it requires the severe policing of language. I think that principle could eventually be a significant part of our demise, yeah, but whatever. And yes, yeah, sometimes the cultural problems with the oppressed group is directly related to the oppression. But honestly, it's seldom true anymore in, well, in the United States anyway. I mean, like I said, when microaggressions are considered oppression, that can't be considered a significant part of why there are some negative cultural issues. But let me state again, there is no excuse for Israel's genocide of the Palestinian people. There is no excuse for how Israel has treated the Palestinians for decades. The bad treatment by Israel of the Palestinians is the primary thing driving Palestinian schools to teach hatred of Jewish people. It's an example of the oppression being directly related to the negative cultural issues. I don't know of a good answer to the Israel-Palestine mess. I think it was incredibly stupid to choose that uh, geographic region for Israel. You know, out of all the regions they could have established themselves in. Why there, other than this false notion that their ethnicity or religion gives them special rights to the land? I mean, imagine if Israel would have been placed right next to other Western countries. I don't think there would have been really any of these significant issues going on. There would be different issues probably, but not these. And I'll admit that the most moral solution would be the whole one-state solution with Israel basically bowing out and, and just saying, yeah, let's open everything up like this. It's just, it's just not likely. It's really, it's frankly, it's impossible. Not just improbable, but impossible, unless nukes were involved, but Israel has a lot of nukes, so what would that become? Israel isn't going to just give in to pressure. They're certainly not going to give up the power that they have in that region. Any answers to this conflict need to be realistic. Again, none of this, everyone should just, yeah, anything. No moralizing or pretty sounding answers, no BS. If you don't have an answer, you need to be satisfied with the fact that you don't have an answer. It should be like anything else that we don't know the answer to. So, you know, how did the universe come to be? Some say the Big Bang. But if you're not satisfied with that, it's okay to say that you don't know. You shouldn't automatically jump to God did it, right? Just saying.